the World Bank uh, was absolutely set against other countries becoming food independent. Uh, the uh, mo- the head, the most important heads of the World Bank were former uh, secretaries of defense, like uh, McNamara, uh, John McCloy. Uh, a whole, a whole, you can look through uh, who the heads were. The Americans said that any foreign country wanting to grow its own food instead of depending on U.S. grain exports was counted as an act of war and would be overthrown. Uh, and that was the reason, uh, explicit reason, why the United States established uh, dic- military dictatorships and client oligarchies in Latin America. The World Bank did promote uh, plantation agriculture, uh, latifundia, but the plantation agriculture was for export crops, uh, to compete with each other, other, uh, exporting countries to lower the price of export crop, of tropical crops that could not be grown in the United States, but these countries were not supposed to grow their own, uh, food supply. Uh, uh, but it also got countries in debt, and once countries were in debt, they were forced into the International Monetary Fund uh, that uh, said, basically, you, uh, in order to pay your debts, you have to engage in a vicious class war against the labor. Uh, you have to lower wages, uh, because the only variable in world trade, contrary to what's taught in the textbooks, uh, there's a common world trade in raw materials. All countries pay the same price for copper, machinery. Uh, and other materials. There's a common world price for oil. There's a common world price for capital goods. Uh, 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 the one variable in foreign exchange is the price of labor. So uh, the uh, IMF said, well, if you just uh, uh, fight, uh, you, you've got to prevent unionization. You've got to prevent uh, any kind of uh, pro-labor work. You've got, your only way of paying debts is to polarize your economy and impoverish your labor force. This is exactly what uh, uh, the uh, opponents of Keynes had said in the 1920s, uh, trying to, and you saw the result in Germany. Uh, it, it, the, the same thing was said, uh, imposed on the third world countries, which is why uh, until a few years ago, uh, all the countries of the world tried to get free of uh, the IMF conditionalities, which were uh, the terms on which the IMF would lend money. And the IMF became, uh, it, it, you should essentially think of the IMF as a small office in uh, the basement of the Pentagon. Uh, deciding what uh, countries do we want to give support, what countries are following policies that the United States do not want and we want to wreck. 